Hello everyone, this is a quick overview of PencilCode.net, an amazing tool to teach your students how to code and enable them to create projects that they're passionate about. Let's get started and click the Let's Play button. Once you go to PencilCode.net, you'll be um, received with this screen and you can click the Let's Play button to just get started quickly. So here you'll see um, the main screen that Pencil Code will have throughout all the different sections, which is called the Creator screen. Um, to the right, you'll see an output uh, in which you will have a little turtle in the middle of your canvas. And to the left, you'll see the section in which you'll get to write your own code or drag and drop blocks. And to the left of you, you'll see all the blocks that are available for your selection. In this case, we already have some blocks that are preset for us. So let's click the Run button and see what happens. As you can see, uh, the little turtle in the middle of the canvas is moving uh, relatively slow with a red pen and is creating this pattern. So let's stop the program and see if we can change something. So let's try to change the speed. Let's change from 2 to 100, meaning that the turtle is going to move a lot faster. And let's see what happens when we do that. Boom. As you can see, we were able to change um, the code using um, the blocks in order to make the turtle move faster. What makes pencil code different from programming languages such as Scratch, for instance, is that by clicking this button, it turns those blocks into actual code uh, that will be a lot better to work with for older students. So for example, if you wanted to change the color of the pen from red to green, we can do that and then run it. And as you can see, those are the results. Now, let's look at other parts of pencil code, uh, parts that are a little bit more creative and that really show the potential of what students can do once they learn how to code. So let's go down here and click the Make Music uh, button, which shows just a few interactive uh, uh, examples of the potential of, of pencil code. So for example, we can play a note, or more, moreover, we can play a simple tune by just passing in a bunch of notes to be played by the program. As you can see, the possibilities are actually endless. Imagine uh, being in a classroom full of students that are interested in music. Not necessarily they don't want to learn how to code, but they're just interested in music. Well, by going to Pencil Code and teaching them the basics of coding, they will be able to perhaps create a composition all without even touching an instrument. Another way is that you can implement um, uh, pencil code in different classrooms. It's, for example, in a writing class. Imagine trying to uh, create a, uh, an interactive experience for students to um, you know, display the different ways in, they, in which they can write riddles, for instance. So for example, by writing this pencil code program, uh, students can display a riddle and then have a little box in which people can try to guess what the riddle is. For example, this one says, when you don't have me, you want me. But when you do have me, you want to give me away. What am I? Probably a secret. And boom, it gives us feedback saying that we're right. And that's amazing. Um, other uh, things you can do with pencil code are drawing, uh, making music. And there's just so much to do that it would be impossible to fit it all in a video. So if you go to the top right and you click on reference, um, it'll actually tell you everything that can be done in pencil code from math to animation to interactivity. Uh, but if you go to the home page of pencil uh, pencilcode.net and you scroll all the way down, you'll be able to see a teaching manual at the bottom. And this teaching manual will include uh, many, many documents uh, that will walk you through the process of learning the syntax of pencil code and learning some curriculum to actually use in the classroom. So that's a quick intro and overview to pencil code. Uh, I hope you liked it.